Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Matthew Swift, Concordia co-founder and CEO, and Dr. Julio Frank, president of the University of Miami. Your Excellencies, President Frank, members of the Concordia Leadership Council, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Concordia America Summit. This gathering marks the sixth time we have convened as a global community to address issues specific to the Western Hemisphere. Today, we are back in this incredible city of Miami where the Americas Initiative began. In 2016, and with the inspiration, guidance, and support of so many Leadership Council members, we decided to host a summit outside of New York. Up until that point, Concordia was known solely for our annual summit in New York, parallel to the United Nations General Assembly. But we knew that in order to truly capture the state of issues and the potential for solutions, we needed a forum that could be more focused and geographically connected to the region. Our inaugural regional summit, which has since seen growth in Europe, Africa, and even the U.S. heartland, started with the Western Hemisphere. Like so many things, it was a collision of multiple events and encounters that have led us to this point. Concordia exists and is based on the core tenet that human connection is the foundation by which anything gets done, and cross-sector partnerships represent the culmination of good ideas. Let me give you an example. Twelve years ago, Konstantin Logothetis, brother to my co-founder Nick and member of Concordia's Leadership Council, met a young woman named Natalia Moreno. After meeting Nick and hearing about our plans to launch an annual forum around public-private partnerships, Natalia determined that she should tell her father, then IDB President Luis Alberto, that, that he should get involved. Luis then, in turn, introduced us to a young member of his team named Yvonne Duque to meet with us and hear about this concept we had on paper. Yvonne, then working at the IDB, but also working closely with former Colombian president and Concordia Leadership Council, Alvaro Uribe, advised us that our first summit, in order for us to truly be relevant, needed to cover issues related to Latin America. And as such, we needed to invite President Uribe to New York to speak at our first ever summit. At that inaugural summit, which was a half-day forum convening about 100 people in New York, we hosted President Uribe for a speech on the future of democracy in Latin America. Following that summit, he invited Nick and me to Colombia. These events, these chance encounters, this connecting, is why we are here today. President Uribe has served Concordia faithfully for years as a member of our leadership council. Now, Colombian President Ivan Duque is speaking here later today, and we will honor him with our Concordia Leadership Award. Natalia Moreno is an advisor to Concordia. Her father remains a close friend and frequent participant. And 12 years later, and 35 summits, we are convening this sixth Concordia America Summit back in, our, in Miami to continue an important legacy of our institutional focus on the hemisphere. The world today is facing ever-increasing uncertainty. As an eternal optimist, that's a painful thing for me to acknowledge. As world events have unfolded these past few years, I, like so many of you, would tell people, trust the institutions, trust the processes, trust our systems, trust our leaders. With the European continent facing its most significant threat to peace and security since World War II, the recent and frankly shocking assassination of the former Prime Minister of Japan, migration issues stemming from the humanitarian crisis in Venezuela, and the border crisis here in the United States, inflation, supply chain delays, and labor shortages facing economies that were already fragile. This is not a time to pull back and certainly not a time to lose focus on the Western Hemisphere. So how does Concordia play a role in all of this? First, we continue fostering connections through our summits, but also the countless encounters and conversations that have brought this entire community together. Second, we have stayed true to our longtime legacy of being fiercely nonpartisan and genuinely inclusive. Bring me an agenda from any other major convener and I will proudly and confidently show you our legacy of being nonpartisan. Third, we believe in the power of coming together in person, as challenging as that has been these last few years, because while technology has enabled remarkable connectivity, nothing quite matches the power of human-to-human in-person connection. 
Before we start today's agenda, I want everyone in this room, everyone watching on our live stream, and everyone following the press coverage from, the, from our media partners to take one very important message from this event. Show up and focus on the Western Hemisphere. As a citizen of the United States, to my fellow citizens, let us deepen and engage more in our own neighborhood, not less. If we do not finally take concrete steps to engage this hemisphere more directly, we will continue to what make what I believe has been a strategic error of significant proportions. And now, frankly, is the time to show up. I want to take a moment to thank our programming sponsors, Libra Group, Veracity Worldwide, SDI International, and our programming partners, the General Secretariat of the Organization of American States, the International Coalition Against Illicit Economies, Global Citizen Forum, the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, Google.org, and most especially, the University of Miami. Take advantage of these next few days, connect with one another, and come with an open mind for what is possible, because now is the time. I'm going to take a moment, break protocol for a second. I do not think he is in this room right now, so I'll probably have to do this all over again. If you run into President Luis Alberto Lacalle, our longstanding leadership council member, uh, it is his 81st birthday today. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Thank you. And now it is my great honor to introduce President Julio Frank of the University of Miami. Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. Bonjour. Bon dia. On behalf of the entire University of Miami community, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to our beautiful campus to host the 2022 Concordia America Summit. From our founding almost a century ago, the University of Miami has been a place of convergence of thinkers and doers from across the Americas. We have been a meeting point of, for people, ideas, geographies, and cultures. As technology makes the world smaller, and indeed many of you are joining us virtually this week, as technology ma makes the world smaller, collaboration becomes all the more vital. And listening to Matt, I'm reminded that connectivity is not the same as connection. We need to emphasize connection. I want to bring, to begin today by acknowledging the very meaningful collaboration we have enjoyed from both our colleagues at Concordia and the Organization of American States, whose Secretary General, Luis Almagro, is with us today. Over the next two days, we will hear from current and former heads of state, business leaders, public servants, researchers, and activists from diverse backgrounds, countries, and sectors. Their words and the actions that must follow are rooted in a common bond, the desire to, this, to see this hemisphere reach its full potential. It struck me as I thought about this gathering that the very meaning of the word concordia, to bring hearts and minds together, aligns beautifully with one of the key roles that universities perform, which is the role of convening, of bringing people together, bringing hearts and minds together in a spirit of total freedom of expression, in civility to process our differences and agree on socially valued goals. This is the role that we aspire to fulfill today and in the next day as your host. Matt, thank you for your partnership. We look forward to what I know will be an enriching and compelling conversation. Welcome again. Thank you. 